Today I would like to make a short video about difficult feelings and the difficult feelings that life brings to us. Are you afraid of experiencing painful feelings? I think the reality is that many of us are. And when I say painful, difficult feelings, what I'm referring to is the feeling of heartbreak, of heartache, of grief, the feelings of loss, loneliness, helplessness. These feelings are actually universal. We all experience these feelings. And I'd almost refer to these feelings as the pains of life, because these feelings um, are kind of evoked by life and life circumstances and also other people who are in our lives. Examples would be losing someone we love, which, which causes us to feel heartbreak, heartache and grief. Or tragedy, um, if, if tragedies happen in our lives such as big loss, painful loss. Equally, these painful feelings can be aroused by people in our lives uh, being mean to us or treating us in an unloving way, which can cause heartache, heartbreak, sorrow, worry, loneliness. If someone we want to be close with isn't available to connect with us, that can cause us the feeling of heartbreak and loneliness and disconnect. So these feelings are universal and they are the pains of life, as we sometimes call them. The thing is, we often try to avoid these feelings and we often develop in our childhoods elaborate patterns to not have to experience these feelings, to avoid them. And these patterns can be emotional disconnect from our own emotional inner world which then later in life can be um, you know, elaborated and consolidated through addictive and avoidant kind of patterns. So underneath addictions and underneath maybe de depressive and anxiety uh, disorders are, is often the difficulty to actually experience feelings and to regulate the pains of life, these universal painful feelings. And these avoidant and addictive patterns are designed to control the often intense, overwhelming and painful feelings of life. And we've developed these ways in childhood because uh, as children we didn't have the support of adults maybe to help us through these feelings. And we also, in addition to that, didn't have, uh, our brains weren't really developed enough to, to accept, to process, to think about and to manage these feelings. So therefore we develop these patterns which are adaptive in childhood because they help us to survive in a way. But in our adult years, these avoidant addictive patterns often are actually in the way of developing connections with others, intimate, deeper connections with ourselves and others. And they also then cause secondary problems, you know, such as addictions or depression. And that's often you know, the, these kind of uh, addictive and avoidant patterns are almost like a, a defensive layer uh, uh, to avoid the pains of life. The good news is that as adults, we can definitely learn. We can learn to regulate our feelings. We can learn to think about our feelings, to accept them, to feel them, to experience them, and to process and release them. We can learn that because our brains have the innate capacity to do that. And because of our brain's neuroplasticity, we are able to learn new ways new patterns of managing feelings and learning. 
So that's the good news. We really can learn to deal with these universal feelings of heartbreak, grief, fear, loneliness. And, and that's brilliant because when we can learn new ways of self-regulation, we have much more freedom. We have the freedom to, to experience life as it is. We have the freedom to connect more deeply with ourselves and others. And we also have the freedom and the inner knowing, yes, that when life is hard, we can actually build an inner resilience to deal with it. And that is very, that is truly very liberating and empowering.